Do you want to turn your YouTube chat from this into this? GG! Are you a YouTube streamer? Do you hate that Twitch has channel points and you don't on YouTube? Well, fear no more. There is now a way for you to have channel points on YouTube. Let me say that again for the guys in the back. There is a way for you to have channel points on YouTube. Here's how you do it. So in order to have YouTube channel points, you're going to need two things. You're going to need a specific bot and a specific extension. So the first place you'll go is to the ytcr.gazelle.io. You'll click, I'm a streamer, and it'll scroll you down. What you're looking for is channel rewards inside YouTube. You'll get started. It'll bring you down a little bit further. The first thing you want to do is install the extension for Google Chrome. Click the link and the link will take you to the Chrome web store, YouTube channel rewards. I already have it installed, but you'll click add. Then once it's added to your Google Chrome, you'll go back to that same page and you'll go to the setup guide, which will take you to the GitHub. Now, if you want to, you can stop the video now and just go follow step by step the instructions here. If you follow the instructions step by step, you'll be good to go. You'll you'll have everything set up that you need to. However, if you're more of a visual learner and want to see things, then stick with the video. So the first thing you want to do is go to the prerequisites, go to streamer.bot, click the link and you'll download their newest file, which is streamer.bot. In the making of this video, it's 0.1.22. You'll click this button, you'll download it, you'll extract the files to where you want to extract them to. Then you'll go back to the main GitHub. You'll go to initial setup, download, you'll go to the releases page, and it'll take you to V2. Again, at the making of this video, if it's later than that, then you're good to go. You'll scroll down. You'll click the cube icon that says YTCR tag V2.0.0 dot Giselle, which at the making of this video was last month. You'll click this and you'll download that file. So once you've downloaded both streamer.bot and the Giselle file, you'll then go to the three lines on streamer.bot Click import and under import string, you're going to take that file you downloaded and just drag and drop into import string string. A bunch of code will come up. You're not worried about this, but under actions, you'll make sure all of these are checked. Once they're checked, you'll click import and it'll import those settings. Once you've imported, you'll go to the actions tab. Then you'll go to set channel rewards. And then you'll see set global YouTube channel ID to change me. Double click this. And then where it says change me, you're going to change that to your YouTube channel ID. And in order to find that, go to your YouTube channel. Go to your name. Go to settings. Advanced settings. Channel ID. You'll click copy and then back into the streamer bot you'll change change me to youtube channel id click ok the next step will be go to servers and clients websocket clients this will this page will be blank for you you'll right click you'll hit add you'll name it giselle's ytcr You'll copy this endpoint and replace this endpoint. Just like the settings, 
you'll say auto connect on startup, reconnect on disconnect. Make sure these three boxes are checked. Retry interval, change that to five seconds. Under actions, you have connected. You'll click connected. This one you'll say set channel rewards. You'll skip disconnected. Under message, you'll execute channel reward redeem. Once you have all of this checked and yours looks like mine, you'll hit OK. I'm going to hit cancel because I already have it. The next thing you want to do is you'll right click what you just added and you'll hit connect. The status here will then be changed to open. If for whatever reason it says error, try this method. Right click, edit, and ensure that these three boxes are checked. Sometimes the TLS 1.0 will be the only one checked and you'll have to recheck these two. Once those two are checked, click OK. Right click again and hit connect. And the status should then be changed to open. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to platforms. Go to the Twitch account. Go to accounts and log in with your Twitch account. Now, in order for you to use Panel Point Rewards, you have to be an affiliate on Twitch. Unfortunately, this is a requirement and you have to reach affiliate in order to actually be able to add in channel points. If you are not an affiliate on Twitch, basically you wouldn't have the broadcaster account for Twitch. So in channel point rewards where you would have to add the channel points, it won't even let you right click to add a channel. Then point. click the YouTube tab, go to account, and then you're going to link your broadcaster YouTube account, the account that you want to actually live stream to on YouTube. Once you have those checked, the next step is to go to the dashboard for the YouTube channel redeems. You'll click sign in and you'll be prompted to link your discord account. You'll click authorize. And it'll take you to the home page. Now your points per interval will be automatically set to 100. It's 100 every five minutes. So that's how many points your viewers will get every five minutes of watch time. You can click this and change it to various options. I personally like it set to 50 and then I make my channel points based off of 50. You can give people in your chat your points not your points, but you can give people in chat like more points. Don't worry about clipping for now for the purpose of this video, but essentially it's a way for your viewers to clip portions of your video and automatically save that video to your desktop as opposed to how YouTube has it to where it creates a YouTube link. This one will create an actual video already downloaded for you. You can reset the user's points wipe them back down to zero you as the broadcaster will always have infinite amount of points so the next step is creating your first action so what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to actions right click an empty space and you'll click add name this action to what you want to name it for the purpose of this video We'll do a GG sound effect. So essentially, I want to create an action that when viewers redeem the action, it, it plays a GG sound effect when they redeem that action. For group, you can add this to any group you want. So if you click it, you can name it whatever you want. For the purpose of this video, we'll do testing SFX. If you click the drop down menu, you can click any other group that you've created. Click OK, and it creates an action. But this action doesn't do anything yet. So then you want to come over to sub actions, click an empty space. For sound effects, you'll want to go to core, 
sounds play sound. You'll then be prompted to find the sound effect file you want to use. Click the three dots. Find the file you want to use. That's a sound effect, an MP3 for me. And I want to play the GG sound effect. Open that and it'll save it. You can then test it to make sure it works. GG! Then hit OK. So this action, it works. We know it works. But we haven't created the button for YouTube yet. Head over to platforms, Twitch, channel point rewards, click in open space, click add, title it. So what you title it on this page will be what it's titled on the, on YouTube for the point button for us. Just want to name it GG. The cost is how much it costs to spend that redeem. So if you remember right, I said 50 per five minutes, the viewers get. So you want to base it off of that. If you want viewers to be able to play this almost constantly, you'll make it cost one point. The more expensive it is, the more people have to watch your channel in order to play that sound effect. I'll just keep it at one point for now. Max zero per stream if you leave that zero that means it can be used repeatedly if you play it once that means it can only be played per stream one time the same thing for max zero per user per stream if you leave it zero it's going to be it can be used any amount of time for every user if you play it as one that means only the user one user can use it once Another use it. Another user can use it once, and then another user can use it once, but they can't use it more than once. Global cooldown is in seconds, and it's how long it takes for anyone to be able to use that redeem again. Persist is just it keeps track of how many times that redeem has been used. For group, this is important because this is how the uh, extension pulls the redeems for group you want to name it YTCR the extension looks for that group name name it YTCR and then under actions you're going to link that GG SFX action so what we just did was create the button now we're gonna create what the button does which was the GG SFX. It plays that sound effect. Click select, click OK. Now, this is the important part. Anytime you make adjustments to your buttons, your redeems, you need to head back over to server clients, WebSocket clients, right click, disconnect, right click, connect. And then what I like to do to be safe is I like to close it completely and relaunch streamer.bot. What this does is it updates your channel points within the extension. So that way it's sending everything that you just updated. You can do this while you're live and it will retroactively update for your viewers they don't have to refresh the youtube page or anything their redeem points will flicker for a second and the new redeems will be on that page and there you have it everything you need in order to start the process of having youtube channel points ultimately this is a short-term project until youtube comes out with their own permanent solution in order to have youtube channel points However, short term or not, I'm extremely happy to be using this program and be having YouTube channel points pretty much before anyone else. It helps my channel stick out. And as long as the viewers download the extension, we can have some fun and chat.
all the discord links, all the site links that you need to go to in order to make this stuff work will be in the description of this video. Be sure to check them out and see you guys in my streams.